Barmaid. Noun. A woman who serves in a bar. Manner. Noun. Mode of action. Way of performing or doing anything. Main. Verb. Short for mainline. Adjective. Of chief or leading importance. Prime. Principle. Adverb. Exceedingly. Extremely. Greatly. Mightily. Very. Very much. Download. Noun. A file transfer to the local computer. Verb. To transfer data from a remote computer. Server. To a local computer. Usually via a network. Grant. Noun. The act of granting. A bestowing or conferring. Concession. Allowance. Permission. Verb. Detransitive. To give. Permission or wish. Giant. Noun. A mythical human of very great size. Adjective. Very large. Encouraging. Verb. To mentally support. To motivate. Give courage. Hope or spirit. Noun. Encouragement. Adjective. Giving courage. Confidence or hope. Completing. Verb. To finish. To make done. To reach the end. Last. Adjective. Final. Ultimate. Coming after all others of its kind. Adverb. Most recently. Buying. Verb. To obtain. Something. In exchange for money or goods. Noun. The act of making a purchase. Counselor. Noun. A professional who counsels people, especially on personal problems. Clock. Noun. An instrument used to measure or keep track of time. A non-portable timepiece. Verb. To measure the duration of. Corresponding. Verb. Constructed with two. To be equivalent or similar in character. Quantity. Quality. Origin. Structure. Function etc. Noun. A correspondence. The situation where things correspond or match. Adjective. That have a similar relationship. Boom. Noun. A low-pitched. Resonant sound. Such as of an explosion. Verb. To make a loud. Hollow. Resonant sound. Interjection. Used to suggest the sound of an explosion. City. Noun. A large settlement. Bigger than a town. Sometimes with a specific legal definition. Depending on the place. Delivery. Noun. The act of conveying something. Experienced. Verb. To observe certain events. Undergo a certain feeling or process. Or perform certain actions that may alter one or contribute to one's knowledge. Opinions. Or skills. Adjective. Having experience and skill in a subject. Indicating. Verb. To point out. To discover. To direct to a knowledge of. To show. To make known. Eventually. Adverb. In the end. At some later time. Especially after a long time. A series of problems. Struggles. Delays or setbacks. Bathtub. Noun. A large container for holding water in which a person may bathe, take a bath. Clients. Noun. A customer, a buyer or receiver of goods or services. Joker. Noun. A person who makes jokes. Let. Noun. The allowing of possession of a property etc. In exchange for rent. Verb. To allow to. Not to prevent. Plus infinitive. But usually without to. Verb. To hinder. Prevent. Impede. Hamper. Cumber. To obstruct. Someone or something. Conservative. Noun. A person who favors maintenance of the status quo. Adjective. Cautious. Gather. Noun. A play or fold in cloth. Made by drawing a thread through it. A pucker. Verb. To collect. Normally separate things. Formation. Noun. Something possessing structure or form. Commandments. Noun. A divinely ordained command, especially one of the Ten Commandments. Fun. Noun. Amusement. Enjoyment or pleasure. Verb. To tease. Kid. Poke fun at. Make fun of. Adjective. Enjoyable. Amusing. Bills. Noun. Any of various bladed or pointed hand weapons. Originally designating an Anglo-Saxon sword. And later a weapon of infantry.
especially in the 14th and 15th centuries, commonly consisting of a broad, heavy, double-edged, hook-shaped blade, with a short pike at the back and another at the top, attached to the end of a long staff, verb, to dig, chop, etc., with a bill, noun, the beak of a bird, especially when small or flattish, sometimes also used with reference to a platypus, turtle, or other animal, verb, to peck, noun, a written list or inventory, now obsolete except in specific senses or set phrases, bill of lading, bill of goods, etc., verb, to advertise by a bill or public notice, noun, the bell, or boom, of the bittern, foretold, verb, to predict, to tell, the future, before it occurs, to prophesy, decomposition, noun, a biological process through which organic material is reduced to e.g. compost, fortunate, adjective, auspicious, her, noun, a female person or animal, pronoun, the form of she used after a preposition or as the object of a verb, that woman, that ship, etc., Holland, noun, a type of linen cloth, originally from Holland, discrimination, noun, discernment, the act of discriminating, discerning, distinguishing, noting or perceiving differences between things, with intent to understand rightly and make correct decisions, girls, noun, a female child, adolescent, or a young woman, verb, to feminize or girlify, to gender as a girl or as for girls. Noun. A woman's breasts. Folks. Noun. A grouping of smaller peoples or tribes as a nation. Noun. The members of one's immediate family. Especially one's parents. Attract. Verb. To pull toward without touching. Google. Verb. To deliver googlies. Conversations. Noun. Expression and exchange of individual ideas through talking with other people. Also, a set instance or occasion of such talking. Verb. To engage in conversation. With. Concentration. Noun. The act. Process or ability of concentrating. The process of becoming concentrated. Or the state of being concentrated. Hierarchy. Noun, a body of authoritative officials organized in nested ranks. Completed. Verb, to finish. To make done. To reach the end. Adjective, finished. Legs. Noun, a limb or appendage that an animal uses for support or locomotion. Verb, to remove the legs from an animal carcass. Analytical. Adjective, of or pertaining to analysis resolving into elements or constituent parts. Cardio. Noun. Exercise. Exercise with the goal of raising the heart rate. Adjective. Cardiovascular. Pertaining to the health of the circulatory and respiratory systems. Basketball. Noun. A sport in which two opposing teams of five players strive to put a ball through a hoop. Interval. Noun. A distance in space. Handbook. Noun. A topically organized book of reference on a certain field of knowledge. Regardless of size. Indispensable. Noun. A thing that is not dispensable. A necessity. Adjective. Not admitting ecclesiastical dispensation. Not subject to release or exemption. That cannot be allowed by bending the canonical rules. Appointments. Noun. The act of appointing a person to hold an office or to have a position of trust. Languages. Noun. A body of words. And set of methods of combining them. Called a grammar. Understood by a community and used as a form of communication. Verb. To communicate by language. To express in language. Noun. A lenge. A flat plate in or below the flue pipe of an organ. Indented. Verb. To notch. To jag. To cut into points like a row of teeth. Adjective. Cut in the edge into points or inequalities. Like teeth. Jagged. Notched. Stamped in. Dented on the surface. Description. Noun. 
a sketch or account of anything in words, a portraiture or representation in language, an enumeration of the essential qualities of a thing or species, meal, noun, food that is prepared and eaten, usually at a specific time, and usually in a comparatively large quantity, as opposed to a snack, close, noun, an end or conclusion, verb, physical, to remove a gap, asleep, adjective, in a state of sleep, also, broadly, resting, build, noun, the physique of a human body, constitution or structure of a human body, verb, to form, something, by combining materials or parts, adverb, noun, grammar, a word that modifies a verb, adjective, other adverbs, distinction, noun, that which distinguishes, a single occurrence of a determining factor or feature, the fact of being divided, separation, discrimination, journalists, noun, the keeper of a personal journal, who writes in it regularly, dimension, noun, a single aspect of a given thing, verb, to mark, cut or shape something to specified dimensions, matchless, adjective, having no match, without equal, moral, noun, of a narrative, the ethical significance or practical lesson, verb, to moralize, adjective, of or relating to principles of right and wrong in behavior, especially for teaching right behavior, endure, verb, to continue or carry on, despite obstacles or hardships, to persist, invisible, noun, an invisible person or thing, specifically, God, the supreme being, verb, to make invisible, to invisibilize, adjective, unable to be seen, out of sight, not visible, announcer, noun, one who makes announcements, contains, verb, to hold inside, agreement, noun, an understanding between entities to follow a specific course of conduct, cooking, verb, to prepare, food, for eating by heating it, often by combining it with other ingredients, verb, to make the noise of the cuckoo, verb, to throw, noun, the process of preparing food by using heat, adjective, in progress, happening, heal, noun, a spell or ability that restores hit points or removes a status ailment, verb, to make better from a disease, wound, etc., to revive or cure, home, noun, a dwelling, verb, of animals, to return to its owner, adjective, of or pertaining to one's dwelling or country, domestic, not foreign, as home manufactures, home comforts, adverb, to one's home, noun, a directory that contains a user's files, ease, noun, ability, the means to do something, particularly, verb, to free, something, from pain, worry, agitation, etc., endure, verb, to continue or carry on, despite obstacles or hardships, to persist. Frame. Noun. The structural elements of a building or other constructed object. Verb. To fit. As for a specific end or purpose. Make suitable or comfortable. Adapt. Adjust. Blockers. Noun. Agent noun of block. Something that blocks something else. Closely. Adverb, in a close manner. Discotheque. Noun, slightly obsolete, a nightclub where dancing takes place. Epic. Noun, an extended narrative poem in elevated or dignified language. Celebrating the feats of a deity. Demigod. Heroic epic. Other legend or traditional hero. Adjective. Of. Or relating to. An epic. Applications. Noun, the act of applying or laying on, in a literal sense. Additional. Noun, something added. Adjective, supplemental or added to something. Impression. Noun, the indentation or depression made by the pressure of one object on or into another. Verb, 
to manipulate a blank key within a lock so as to mark it with impressions of the shape of the lock, which facilitates creation of a duplicate key. Costing. Verb. To incur a charge of. To require payment of a. Specified. Price. Noun. The estimation of the cost of a process or product. Intelligence. Noun. Capacity of mind. Especially to understand principles. Truths. Facts or meanings. Acquire knowledge. And apply it to practice. The ability to comprehend and learn. Agency. Noun. The capacity, condition, or state of acting or of exerting power. Domains. Noun. A geographic area owned or controlled by a single person or organization. Local. Noun. A person who lives near a given place. Adjective. From or in a nearby location. Adverb. In the local area. Within a city. State. Country. Etc. Noun. An anesthetic. Anesthetic substance. That causes loss of sensation only to the area to which it is applied. Continuously. Adverb. Without pause. Annoyed. Verb. To disturb or irritate. Especially by continued or repeated acts. To bother with unpleasant deeds. Adjective. Troubled. Irritated by something unwanted or unliked. An annoyance. Vexed. Attending. Verb. To set on fire. Kindle. Verb. To listen to. Something or someone. To pay attention to. Regard. Heed. Noun. A physician on the staff of a hospital. Especially the principal one that supervises a patient's care. Adjective. That attend or attends. That is or are in attendance. Attendant. Iterations. Noun. Recital or performance a second time. Repetition. Durable. Noun. A durable thing. One useful over more than one period. Especially a year. Adjective. Able to resist wear. Decay. Lasting. Enduring. Folding. Verb. To bend. Any thin material. Such as paper. Over so that it comes in contact with itself. Verb. To confine animals in a fold. Noun. The action of folding. A fold. Adjective. Designed to fold. As a folding bed. A folding bicycle. A folding chair. Etc. Ache. Noun. Continued dull pain. As distinguished from sudden twinges. Or spasmodic pain. Verb. To suffer pain. To be the source of. Or be in. Pain. Especially continued dull pain. To be distressed. Ladle. Noun. A deep bold spoon with a long. Usually curved. Handle. Verb. To pour or serve something with a ladle. Capitalized. Verb. In writing or editing. To write. Something. Either an entire word or text. Or just the initial letter. S. Thereof. In capital letters. In upper case. Concise. Verb. To make concise. To abridge or summarize. Adjective. Brief. Yet including all important information. Days. Noun. Any period of 24 hours. Verb. To spend a day. In a place. Noun. A particular time or period of vague extent. Dates. Noun. The fruit of the date palm. Phoenix dactylifera. Somewhat in the shape of an olive. Containing a soft. Sweet pulp and enclosing a hard kernel. Noun. The addition to a writing. Inscription. Coin. Etc. Which specifies the time. Especially the day. Month. And year. When the writing or inscription was given. Executed. Or made. Verb. To note the time or place of writing or executing. To express in an instrument the time of its execution. Flawless. Adjective. Without flaws, defects, or shortcomings. Perfect. Disobey. Verb. To refuse or, intentionally, fail to obey an order of, somebody. Naturally. Adverb. In a natural manner. Apartment. Noun. A complete domicile occupying only part of a building, especially one for rent. A flat. Dating. Verb. To note the time or place of writing or executing. 
to express in an instrument the time of its execution. Noun. A form of romantic courtship typically between two individuals with the aim of assessing the other's suitability as a partner in an intimate relationship or as a spouse. Manner. Noun. Mode of action. Way of performing or doing anything. Infinitive. Noun. Grammar. The infinitive mood or mode. A grammatical mood. Adjective. Grammar. Formed with the infinitive. Lift. Noun. An act of lifting or raising. Verb. To raise or rise. Bone. Noun. A composite material consisting largely of calcium phosphate and collagen and making up the skeleton of most vertebrates. Verb. To prepare. Meat. Etc. By removing the bone or bones from. Adjective. Of an off-white color like the color of bone. Disclaimer. Noun. One who disclaims, disowns, or renounces. Fighting. Verb. To contend in physical conflict. Either singly or in war. Battle etc. Adjective. Engaged in war or other conflict. Jet. Noun. A collimated stream. Spurt or flow of liquid or gas from a pressurized container. An engine. Etc. Verb. To spray out of a container. Adjective. Propelled by turbine engines. Environment. Noun. The surroundings of, and influences on, a particular item of interest. Hamster. Noun. Any of various old world rodent species belonging to the subfamily Chrysidini. Verb. To secrete or store privately. As a hamster does with food in its cheek pouches. Exactly. Adverb. Manner. Without approximation. Precisely. Interjection. Signifies agreement or recognition. Gathering. Noun. A meeting or get together. A party or social function. Detective. Noun. Law enforcement. A police officer who looks for evidence as part of solving a crime. An investigator. Adjective. Employed in detecting. Glasses. Verb. To apply fiberglass to. Noun. An amorphous solid. Often transparent substance made by melting sand with a mixture of soda. Potash and lime. Verb. To fit with glass. To glaze. Noun. Spectacles. Frames bearing two lenses worn in front of the eyes. Decides. Verb. To resolve. A contest. Problem. Dispute. Etc. To choose. Determine, or settle. Catholic. Adjective. Of the Western Christian Church. As differentiated from e.g. the Orthodox Church. Adjective. Universal. All-encompassing. Graduate. Noun. A person who is recognized by a university as having completed the requirements of a degree studied. At the institution. Verb. To be recognized by a school or university as having completed the requirements of a degree studied. At the institution. Adjective. Graduated. Arranged by degrees. Failures. Noun. State or condition of not meeting a desirable or intended objective. Opposite of success. Giant. Noun. A mythical human of very great size. Adjective. Very large. Forecast. Noun. An estimation of a future condition. Verb. To estimate how something will be in the future. Find. Noun. Anything that is found. Usually valuable. As objects on an archaeological site or a person with talent. Verb. To encounter or discover by accident. To happen upon. Dish. Noun. A vessel such as a plate for holding or serving food. Often flat with a depressed region in the middle. Verb. To put in a dish or dishes. Serve. Usually food. Cried. Verb. To shed tears. To weep. Kidnap. Noun. The crime. Or an instance. Of kidnapping. Verb. To seize and detain a person unlawfully. Sometimes for ransom. Mentioned. Verb. To make a short reference to something. Influence. Noun. The power to affect. Control or manipulate something or someone. The ability to change the development of fluctuating things such as conduct. 
thoughts or decisions. Verb. To have an effect on by using gentle or subtle action. To exert an influence upon. To modify. Bias. Or sway. To persuade or induce. Focal. Adjective. Belonging to. Concerning. Or located at a focus. Handler. Noun. One who handles something, especially manually, or someone. Furious. Adjective. Feeling great anger. Raging. Violent. Costs. Verb. To incur a charge of. To require payment of a. Specified. Price. Noun. Amount of money. Time. Etc. That is required or used. Noun. Manner. Way. Means. Available course. Contrivance. Noun. A rib. A side. Frequency. Noun. The rate of occurrence of anything. The relationship between incidence and time period. Notary. Noun. A lawyer of non-contentious private civil law who drafts, takes, and records legal instruments for private parties, and provides legal advice, but does not appear in court on client's behalf. Continued. Verb. To proceed with. Doing an activity. To prolong. An activity. Noun. The word continued when placed in the end of the page to show it is to be continued. Adjective. Prolonged. Unstopped. Athlete. Noun. A participant in a group of sporting activities which includes track and field. Road running. Cross country running and race walking. Breed. Noun. All animals or plants of the same species or subspecies. Verb. To produce offspring sexually. To bear young. Impatient. Adjective. Restless and intolerant of delays. Abortion. Noun. The expulsion from the womb of a fetus or embryo before it is fully developed. With loss of the fetus. Either naturally as a spontaneous abortion. Now usually called a miscarriage. Or deliberately as an induced abortion. Enters. Noun. The enter key on a computer keyboard. Verb. To go or come into an enclosed or partially enclosed space. Democrat. Noun. A supporter of democracy. An advocate of democratic politics. Originally as opposed to the aristocrats in revolutionary France. Insight. Noun. A sight or view of the interior of anything. A deep inspection or view. Introspection. Frequently used with into. Basketball. Noun. A sport in which two opposing teams of five players strive to put a ball through a hoop. Container. Noun. Someone who contains. Something that contains. Considering. Verb. To think about seriously. Noun. Consideration. Adverb. Given the circumstances. Preposition. Taking into account. Mailman. Noun. Someone. Implied mail. Who delivers mail to. And or collects mail from. Residential or commercial addresses. Or from public mailboxes. Discipline. Noun. A controlled behavior. Self-control. Verb. To train someone by instruction and practice. Crossing. Verb. To make or form a cross. Noun. An intersection where roads, lines, or tracks cross. Adjective. Extending or lying across. In a crosswise direction. Broke. Verb. To separate into two or more pieces. To fracture or crack. By a process that cannot easily be reversed for reassembly. Adjective. Financially ruined. Bankrupt. Hat. Noun. A covering for the head. Often in the approximate form of a cone or a cylinder closed at its top end. And sometimes having a brim and other decoration. Verb. To place a hat on. Catholic. Adjective. Of the Western Christian Church. As differentiated from e.g. the Orthodox Church. Adjective. Universal. All-encompassing. Gas. Noun. Matter in a state intermediate between liquid and plasma that can be contained only if it is fully surrounded by a solid, or in a bubble of liquid, or held together by gravitational pull. It can condense into a liquid, or can, rarely, 
become a solid directly. Verb. To kill with poisonous gas. Hike. Noun. A long walk. Verb. To take a long walk for pleasure or exercise. Etc. Adverb. Alternative form of etc. Answers. Noun. A response or reply. Something said or done in reaction to a statement or question. Verb. To make a reply or response to. Exceeds. Verb. To be larger, greater than. Something. Coverage. Noun. An amount by which something or someone is covered. Customer. Noun. A patron. A client. One who purchases or receives a product or service from a business or merchant. Or intends to do so. Happen. Verb. To occur or take place. Adverb. Maybe. Perhaps. Awards. Noun. A judgment. Sentence. Our final decision. Specifically. The decision of arbitrators in a case submitted. Verb. To give by sentence or judicial determination. To assign or apportion. After careful regard to the nature of the case. To a judge. Helping. Verb. To provide assistance to. Someone or something. Noun. A portion or serving. Especially of food that one takes for oneself. Or to which one helps oneself. Diver. Noun. Someone who dives, especially as a sport. Even. Noun. Diminutive. An even number. Verb. To make flat and level. Adjective. Flat and level. Adverb. Exactly. Just. Fully. Entered. Verb. To go or come into an enclosed or partially enclosed space. Discipline. Noun. A controlled behavior. Self-control. Verb. To train someone by instruction and practice. Box. Noun. Senses relating to a three-dimensional object or space. Verb. To place inside a box. To pack in one or more boxes. Baby. Noun. A very young human. Particularly from birth to a couple of years old or until walking is fully mastered. Verb. To coddle. To pamper somebody like an infant. Adjective. Of a child. Very young. Of the age when he or she would be termed a baby or infant. Ideas. Noun. An abstract archetype of a given thing. Compared to which real life examples are seen as imperfect approximations. Pure essence. As opposed to actual examples. Highlighted. Verb. To make prominent. Emphasize. Mall. Noun. A pedestrianized street. Especially a shopping precinct. Verb. To beat with a mall. Or mallet. To beat with something heavy. To bruise. Heating. Verb. To cause an increase in temperature of. An object or space. To cause to become hot. Often with. Up. Noun. A system that raises the temperature of a room or building. Compare heater. Adjective. Causing heat. Loved. Verb. Usually transitive. Sometimes intransitive. Stative. To have a strong affection for. Someone or something. Verb. To praise. Commend. Adjective. Being the object of love. Boxes. Noun. Senses relating to a three-dimensional object or space. Verb. To place inside a box. To pack in one or more boxes. Noun. Any of various evergreen shrubs or trees of the genus Buxus. Especially the common box. European box. Or boxwood. Buxus sempervirens. Which is often used for making hedges and topiary. Noun. A blow with the fist. Verb. To strike with the fists. To punch. Noun. A Mediterranean food fish of the genus Boops. Which is a variety of sea bream. A bogue or oxi. Golf. Noun. A ball game played by individuals competing against one another in which the object is to hit a ball into each of a series of usually 18 or 9 holes in the minimum number of strokes. Verb. To play the game of golf. Dentist. Noun. A medical doctor who specializes in dentistry. Disappear. Verb. To vanish. Flooded. Verb. To overflow. As by water from excessive rainfall. Adjective. 
filled with water from rain or rivers. Box. Noun. Senses relating to a three-dimensional object or space. Verb. To place inside a box. To pack in one or more boxes. Dimension. Noun. A single aspect of a given thing. Verb. To mark. Cut or shape something to specified dimensions. Crab. Noun. A crustacean of the infraorder Brachiura. Having five pairs of legs. The foremost of which are in the form of claws. And a carapace. Verb. To fish for crabs. Chew. Noun. The act of chewing. Mastication with the mouth. Verb. To crush with the teeth by repeated closing and opening of the jaws. Done to food to soften it and break it down by the action of saliva before it is swallowed. Dreaming. Verb. To see imaginary events in one's mind while sleeping. Noun. An instance of dreaming. A dream or reverie. Accessories. Noun. Something that belongs to part of another main thing. Something additional and subordinate. An attachment. Chooses. Verb. To pick. To make the choice of. To select. Hyphen. Noun. The symbol. Typically used to join two or more words to form a compound term. Or to indicate that a word has been split at the end of a line. Verb. To separate or punctuate with a hyphen. To hyphenate. Conjunction. Used to emphasize the coordinating function usually indicated by the punctuation. Fancy. Noun. The imagination. Adjective. Decorative. Adverb. In a fancy manner. Fancily. Drug. Noun. A substance used to treat an illness. Relieve a symptom. Or modify a chemical process in the body for a specific purpose. Verb. To administer intoxicating drugs to. Generally without the recipient's knowledge or consent. Fun. Noun. Amusement. Enjoyment or pleasure. Verb. To tease. Kid. Poke fun at. Make fun of. Adjective. Enjoyable. Amusing. Give. Noun. The amount of bending that something undergoes when a force is applied to it. A tendency to yield under pressure. Resilience. Verb. Detransitive. To move. Shift. Provide something abstract or concrete to someone or something or somewhere. Investigation. Noun. The act of investigating. The process of inquiring into or following up. Research. Especially patient or thorough inquiry or examination. Luggage. Noun. The bags and other containers that hold a traveler's belongings. Definitely. Adverb. Without question and beyond doubt. Library. Noun. An institution which holds books and or other forms of media for use by the public or qualified. People often lending them out. As well as providing various other services for its users. Interpreter. Noun. One who conveys what a user of one language is saying or signing. In real time or shortly after that person has finished communicating. To a user of a different language. Contrasted with a translator. Flexibility. Noun. The quality of being flexible. Suppleness. Pliability. Jester. Noun. One who jests, jokes or teases. Networking. Verb. To interact socially for the purpose of getting connections or personal advancement. Noun. The use of computer networks. Horizon. Noun. The visible horizontal line or point. In all directions. That appears to connect the earth to the sky. Handbook. Noun. A topically organized book of reference on a certain field of knowledge. Regardless of size.